Hi, in today's lesson, we are going to solve probability three diagram questions from IGCSE 0580 past papers. So let's begin. In the question number one, we have Ravina has to pass a written test and a driving test before she can drive a car on her own. The probability that she passes the written test is 0.6. And the probability that she passes the driving test is 0 0.7. Complete the three diagram below. Before we begin, you should know that for each branch, when we add the probability, it should equal to 1. So this branch here will equal to 1. This branch will equal to 1. And this branch will equal to 1. So if you have the written test, she passes is 0 0.6. So fail will be 1 minus 0 0.6, which will give us 0 0.4. Then for the driving test, if she passes, it is 0 0.7. So if she fails, it will be 1 minus 0 0.7, and that will give us 0 0.3. The same number will come here. In P, we have to calculate the probability that Ravina passes only one of the two tests. So it means she either passes the written test and fails the driving test, or she fails the written test and passes the driving test. What is the probability of this? We have to write it. Passes the written test, but fails the driving test. So it will be 0 0.6 times 0 0.3. And then you have to put a plus. When there is an or, you put a plus. The other one is fails the written test, but passes the driving test. So it's 0 0.4 times 0 0.7 it will give us 0 0.46. So that's our answer. The next question, the probability of a cricket team winning or losing in their first two matches is shown in the tree diagram. First match and second match. Winning the first match is 1 over 3 and losing is 2 over 3. All the probability is given to us. And they want us to find the probability that the cricket team wins at least one match. This means that it can win at least one match or more than one. So it can win both the matches too. There are two ways to do this. One way is you find that it will win the first match and the second match or it will win the first match and lose the second match. Or it will lose the first match and win the second match. This will give us the probability we cannot take lose and lose because there's no win there. But there's an easier way to do. You know that all the probabilities when we add, it equals to 1. So I can do 1 minus the probability of lose, lose. That will give me the rest of the probabilities. 1 minus 2 over 3 multiplied by 1 over 4. And it will give us 5 over 6. Next question. In a flu epidemic, 45% of people have a sore throat. If a person has a sore throat, the probability of not having flu is 0 0.4. If a person does not have a sore throat, the probability of having flu is 0 0.2. Calculate the probability that the person chosen at random has flu. We know that the total prob probability equals to 1. So this plus this will equal to 1. 45 percentage, if we write like that, that gives us 0 
here 1 minus 0 0.45 will give us 0 0.55 that is no sore throat in this branch no flu is 0 0.4 so flu will be 1 minus 0 0.4 which is 0 0.6 in the next branch flu is 0 0.2 so no flu will be 1 minus 0 0.2 which is 0 0.8 and we have to calculate the probability that the chosen, the person chosen at random has flu. So he could have a sore throat and have flu, or he could have no sore throat and have flu. So we will multiply those probabilities sore throat and flu 0 0.45 multiplied by 0 0.6. And then you have no sore throat, which is 0 0.55, multiplied by flu, which is 0 0.2. The answer is 0 0.38. Kindly subscribe to my channel and like this video and watch the other videos for questions solved on different topics and please share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.